It's hard to know how Sholem Aleichem would have reacted to everything, but um, one of the things that one can note is that he is um, least funny and he is most vicious as a humorist when it comes to defectors from Judaism. Uh, there are, you know, when he, in, in a story, for example, about the man from Buenos Aires, uh, it's a story about a pimp from Buenos Aires. Uh, this is a man without much moral credibility, but Sholem Aleichem presents him in a um, pretty favorable light, all told. In the same series of stories that all take place in a, um, in a train, the ones where he is not willing to give his subject the benefit of the doubt are, for example, in a story about the tenth man, when uh, Jews in the train have to gather a minion because they have to have afternoon services and they have to include the Kaddish because there's a father who has lost his son who has been hanged and the father thinks that the boy has been tried and unjustly found guilty. So the father has to say Kaddish for the son and they're looking for a tenth man in the car. And there is this young man. They can't decide, is he Jewish, is he not Jewish? But finally they realize he must be Jewish. They ask him and he says, count me out. And then the father says to him, you know, you deserve a gold medal. And the young man is very much taken aback because he thinks oh, this man is going to be cursing me instead of which he says, you deserve a good medal, a gold medal. So he says, yes. Um, if you join the minion, I will explain why. So of course the young man joins the minion and then afterwards the father tells three stories seemingly unconnected and at the end weaves them together into the most damning thing he can possibly say about this young man and the story ends with at the next station the tenth man got off the train. Right? Um, vicious, you know, sticking it to him, because that is what Sholem Aleichem really did not forgive, and that is a person who read himself out of the Jewish people.